Today's video from Sam4S Help is an odd one. We're just demonstrating how to view the memory allocation on your ER900 series register. So in this video, as always, I'm using the 940 model. That's my personal favorite. So it's got a flat keyboard and um, two printers, but the process will work the same across the range. Why would you want to view the memory allocation? Um, there's not many reasons why you would. Um, the memory allocation is important if your machine's already programmed, then the memory allocation is sort of irrelevant unless you're planning on getting a second till and you want to take a copy of the program that's on this machine and zap it down to a second machine. That's the only example I can think of as why I'd be interested in someone's memory allocation. The reason why the memory allocation is then crucial is that when you copy the program, it'll only upload correctly to the second till if you set the second till up with this same memory allocation. So um, what I'll do is I'll post a link at the end of this one showing you how to set the memory allocation up, but only do that on your unprogrammed till because when you do that, you effectively reset the machine and you'll lose all programming and all sales data. So I'll also put up a link to how to back the data up, which will be uh, very useful. So this one's easy. You need the metal key marked C. So you should have a key with your key lock. So that one says Z, void, C. So there we go. Pop that in there. It's not a key you'd rec I'd recommend that you keep in the till all the time because you can go into the service mode um, and do problematic things, let's say, in there. So you turn it around to the, it's an unmarked position because it's really for engineers only, the till engineer. Um, you may have been asked to do this by your dealer, maybe you bought one online and you want a second one and they're asking you um, to find out what the memory allocation is. So in the service mode, you then type in 60, press subtotal, you get the memory allocation print out. Before you even look at it, I would turn the key brown to off or reg and remove this C key because you just don't want to do anything in there really. Um, you want to give this information that's printed out to whoever's programming your second till or if you're doing it yourself um, then you need to do the memory allocation on the second till but you need to set it so that it's identical to this then you'll be able to take your programming back up from this machine and put it onto the new one. Okay I hope that video has been helpful uh, we've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the ER900 series some of those videos will be appearing on screen now so please check those out you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.